Hi guys, how are you doing today? All right, I always look this direction when my camera is over here, and I know that, but it feels like I'm never looking in the right spot, so I'm always over here talking. Um, my video today is going to be about moisturizing of my skin, and I am not talking about washing my skin. Um, the whole system that I go through to hydrate my skin. I am specifically talking about what I use to moisturize my skin today. I will be including masks and moisturizing uh, products. That's it. So let's get into it. I have a half an hour to make this video as usual. And um, I would like to say that any of my past videos back on moisturizing and skincare products may be a bit redundant. There are some of the older videos that I made and even the ones that I made at the end of last year when I got the, uh, in November and December when I got the uh, e.l.f. Oh, uh, holy hydration line I bought probably half to three quarters of that line easily um, there's only a few products I haven't tried from it um, and I have thoughts on that I will make more a more detailed video on that too I have so many video ideas and um, I'm, I'm not even writing them down and I need to be writing them down because I have so many and then just kind of whatever pops into my head that day and a lot of times that's even a brand new thought so like this one um, is a uh, new thought I thought oh I'm gonna go ahead and do that and also a lot of times um, when I'm making my video I will be I'll have my face in that sort of a state so today all I have done is wash and moisturize my skin today I haven't gotten any farther I've got a lot to do today my dog is sick I was sick yesterday and I'm still slightly sick today better than I was but um the dog is quite ill and he needs to go in today so um I've got a vet trip that I will be taking uh, in a few hours. I think he's due in four hours at 2.30. So let's get into the products that I have been using. Let me tell you about my skin. Oh, so those past videos, I'm sorry. My past videos are a little redundant while I'm talking. And um, there, are some of the, there, there were some of the first videos that I made, even my more recent one. But I think since then, the quality of the ideas of the videos that I've been doing have been much better than originally. I think I've also gotten more comfortable doing them, you know, talking to myself here in a room. Um, and when your videos don't get that many views, you really kind of feel like, why am I just talking to myself and posting it? Um, I have, however, seen the biggest jump in my analytics that I have ever seen as far as views and subscribers um, and the amount of views that I'm getting literally going from like the teens, tens, teens to hundreds. Um, so that's kind of exciting. Um, it's nice to see a jump. It's nice to see that I'm getting a subscriber almost every day. I get like one a day. Woohoo! I'm not even at a hundred. Um, so uh, those past videos are a little redundant and also anything that has changed since then, um, not much has changed on the products or the, my, my feelings on them, but this video will probably have, have the best well-rounded um, with me just talking about them. So um, I think out of all those types of videos that I have, this will be the best one to watch. Um, let's go ahead and start. Let's just talk about quickly some masks I am also going to throw in here. Um, I'm going to be doing a video about um, the, masks, the masks at the Dollar Tree and how good they work. Um, so I'm trying them out for you guys um, just to see how they are and which ones to skip and which ones to pick up. But I figured I would stick this in because this is part of moisturizing is doing a mask and I consider it that. Um, although sometimes I used to do masks in the evening time. Now, a lot of days, a lot of the masks will come and say on them, oh, just rub in when you're done. They're not like take off, you know, not once you need to take off. So that's another reason why I decided to include them. So let's talk about my feelings on these three masks quickly. Oh, so, um, I just wasn't that super impressed with this one. It was just okay. This uh, vitamin essence mask, uh, it's a brightening skin vitality. Um, I just thought it was mediocre, okay? However, and oh, also this little Miss Spa watermelon hydrating sheet mask, I mean, it did, it got the job done. Nothing amazing. And the Real Veggie Farm double shot mask, 
took my heart. I love this one. It was very nice. My skin was super nice when it was done. And I absolutely top tier love this mask as good as some of my higher end masks that I've owned. I still have the Purifying Grapefruit and Radiant Glow Facial Sheet Mask to try. Um, so that's what I can say about these kind of masks. But generally when I grab a mask, I am looking for either hydration, brightening, um, to pull out any, um, anything, but I don't want anything that's going to dry my face out. And so I'm very careful when it comes to anything that is clay. Um, I like anything that's going to moisturize heavily. That's the number one goal for me. And then um, let's just bring up here the Honest Beauty Prime and Perfect Mask. This mask I enjoyed. This one runs for about $20. Oh, and the other ones are obviously about $25. They're singles or doubles. It's either a single or a double. This one here is made with a lot of berries and antioxidants and things. And I do find that my skin does have a nice glow to it when I am done. However, I did notice that they had a lawsuit where they weren't so honest, which is funny because their name is Honest. Um, but it, it comes out that they were lying about some things that were actually in there that were not supposed to be to be a clean beauty brand. So I don't know if I, that one was given to me, so I don't know if I could ever repurchase from them, but that one did what it said it was going to do. It brightened, it felt hydrated, it definitely brightened, and I, I did feel that it was nourishing to the face. Um, runs for $20. This one is from Dermalogica. Dermalogica is just just does a banger job. They're an amazing company. They have amazing products. They also stand up in court. I was taught in beauty school. Um, that's where I got a lot of, that's where I got turned on to Dermalogica. They are spendy, but they do what they say they're going to do and they are good products. And I, the, I really love them. The only one I didn't like was like a hundred dollar face moisturizer that I didn't have to give my mom because it was for oily skin. Um, but this colloidal mask base is a clear gel mask and this, you just put a thin layer on of this and let me tell you, you guys, this one is so amazing. I don't know how much this one runs. I'm so sorry. I did not look it up and I'm recording on the phone. Sorry. This one's just, it was turned in there upside down. So it's just a clear gel mask. You can see it there, but this one you just put on and then I just let it, I leave it on until it dries and then I take it off and my skin is so hydrated. It works. It's worth every penny and it, it, um, does everything that it claims to do. Beautiful mask, wonderful mask. And this one does come in a six fluid ounce bottle. Also, I do like to use a little silicone spatula for putting on your masks. If you haven't ever done that, I highly recommend it. Okay. So we are also here going to discuss what I like to do for my skin when it is rough. Okay. When it is dry and it needs help, I'm going to go in with a sleeping mask or an oil that I have really liked during the day. All right. So after I am done moisturizing and I've done my steps, I'm going to put this as the final step before I am done. So, um, my choices that I have been pulling for now, these are also, this is also part of the nighttime step and I'm kind of st starting at the wrong end. Um, but I guess I did just talk about masks. So we're talking about masks. So that, that part of it does kind of flow together. Um, I have from Earth Harbor, the Nymph Nectar. This is a super fruit radiance of balm. You hardly need any. You put a little in your hand. I have hit pan in this. And you rub your hands together and then you can just put it on your skin. And let me tell you, not only, the, it's a clean brand. Um, I'm not, I again, I did not look up the prices. I think it's in the 30s range. It's worth every single penny. I am in love with this product. I would repurchase this again. This is a staple. I, I generally, I like to try to use this about once a week. Just depends on what's going on with my skin. My skin dictates what I do to it. So um, I don't live on a set schedule of this or that. My skin decides every day what is going to happen to it. So that's another thing um, I've learned. I, I like to, rather than go by, oh, use this this much times. Okay, yes, I will not use a product more times than it says to. Um, but my skin dictates if I'm going to even use it that many times is I guess what I'm trying to say. And one that I decided to try because I didn't want to run out of that one and only use that one. Also, my skin likes it when I 
uh, switch it up. It, it, when I, it starts getting used to the same thing, it does not like that. And I, it gets like used to products or whatever it is. Same with my hair. They both love it was if I could keep it guessing what's happening. So, um, I don't like to introduce too many things at one time, but it does like different items. It gets, I don't know. It's weird. I just can't buy like the same thing. So it's nice because I get to try a lot of products. Um, so that's one thing I do like about it. Um, this is the Holy Hydration Sleeping Mask with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides. I cannot say that this, um, it does the job, but I can't say that it stand out, does anything unbelievable for me. Um, I hear a lot of people like the Holy Hydration line. Now, if I did not say it, I am not only dry skin, but I have very dry skin. However, I do have oily eyelids. They get oily during the day and, um, I can get a little bit of T-zone action of a little bit of oil right here, peeking through a little bit of shine on my nose and just a tiny bit here. Um, mainly in the summertime. I usually only have to um, touch up once in a day, in an eight hour day. I would say I only need to do one touch up. Um, th this didn't just, it just didn't like scream to me amazing, but it did do the job. Um, I did find that when I used only the Holy Hydration line that my skin started to dry out. However, that was just within the first week. I was at the time when I I had gotten it. I had just gotten my skin to where I had wanted it to be for a very long time. Um, and I just wasn't ready to mess with the good thing that I had going. So I quit using just all of this holy hydration line. And I said, nope, I'm going to let my skin again dictate what's going on here because it's winter time and I want my skin to be healthy and happy. I didn't want to be um, stopping a good thing, which was my plan of using the different products rather than just one whole line over and over again. All right. And did I, where did I put my wipes? There they are. Okay. So that mask. And then, um, if it's the daytime now, the difference from the daytime. Okay. One other thing I want to tell you is nighttime is when your skin is repairing. So in the daytime, the only thing I am asking from my products is to hydrate and be thin enough to not move my makeup around. Okay. That's the only thing that I am asking of any of my um, moisturizing products during the day. At night is where I ask it to repair and do all of the things that are important for it. Resurfacing, uh, exfoliating, sometimes I will do in the morning. Um, but uh, again, nighttime, that's when I'm going to be taking the makeup off. That's when I care about retinol, collagen, you know. Um, Anything that's going to repair my face, I do while I'm sleeping because that's when the body repairs itself is when it is asleep. So um, this is one that I found I can use day or night. It's the Biro Fig Renewal Oil. Um, I really do enjoy this. It just takes a tiny bit. And if I do not have enough, I told you I'm doing my video. I told you. Um, I'm going to be on for about 20 minutes. I just want to show you my contact. Okay. Well, I'm in the, I can't pause it. Okay. Um, I'll be in when I'm done. Uh, so that one, um, I can use day or night and it still doesn't move my makeup around when I just do a little bit of this. So, um, that's how I feel about that one. Then I will talk about the lips really quickly. In the nighttime is when I use a mask. Generally, I will do a lip scrub in the morning time. Um, I don't really get too dry of lips, surprisingly, considering my skin is so dry. Um, but I'm always hydrating them. I always have something on them. And ever since I discovered lip oil, hardly anything else ever even touches my lips anymore. So, um, I do really enjoy though, the Victoria's Secret Goodnight Kiss and it smells like vanilla and I just absolutely love it. It will still be on my lip in the morning the next day when I wake up. I really enjoy that one. And, um, a really nice soft one for the morning time is the Mary Kay Satin Lip. This is a very satiny balm. It came in a two pack with a, uh, exfoliant actually, and I lost the exfoliant and I only had this. I was so sad because I absolutely adored both of them. Really good products. Uh, Mary Kay. Again, don't remember the price. I think it was 20 for the two. Then Neutrogena for 15 is the Limp Plumping Serum. By the way, I think this one was around 850. Um, Biro is like 72 and the elf mask is, I think 11, I think. Um, then also the Neutrogena lip pumping serum, healthy lips for $15. I honestly can't say that it has done anything for my lips, but I'm still using it because I bought it and it says I've got ceramides and, uh, 
peptides. It's got peptides in it. Sorry, not ceramides, but peptides in it. And so I'm still hoping it will do something. But you guys, um, luckily my dentist makes a, uh, a little uh, chapstick or it's a, I don't know if it's a lip balm or a chapstick, but uh, it's called custom lip balm. It's a balm. But this one, you guys, is a, a SPF 15. But one of them I have is an SPF 50. Okay, I didn't realize this one's different. This one's a strawberry aloe vera. Okay, I didn't know that. I have two different kinds. One of them is SPF 50, though. So if you haven't thought about it, put SPF in your lip balm. Okay, let's talk about eyes now. So since my eyelids do get oily um, and I'm worrying about repairing in the evening time, I really enjoy my e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Eye Cream. This one works fine. This one is $10. I like this one. It's thin enough with my oily eyelid that um, the consistency is great. And it lasts a long time because of that. And it's only $10 and it, it works great for the daytime. Now at night, I'm going to do the repair. So um, lately I have been, there's a lot of them that I like. Okay, I like the Glow Recipe Avocado one. I think that one's 42 or $48. I also just finished off my Bi Fleur and B Bye Bye uh, Bye Eyes or Bye Baby Eyes. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Bye Bye Eyes or baby eyes or something like that. But, and that one was for firming and collagen uh, or retinol and collagen. I really enjoyed that one for firming and fine lines and wrinkles. That's what it was. I really enjoyed that one. And I think it was around 26 to 28 normally. Um, I also had one other one that went under the eye that was a uh, brightening vitamin C. I really enjoyed that. I got that one through BoxyCharm. But lately I have been using the TimeWise Repair Volume Firm Eye Renewal Cream by Mary Kay. This one has a titanium tip. You put it on under the eye and then you flip it around and you rub the titanium tip. Okay. So another tip is, is if you have one of the jade rollers or quartz, rose quartz rollers or whatever, when you're doing your creams, I like to do it when I'm done putting all my cream on, um, I will roll the roller over my face and I also keep mine in my freezer. So it's really cold. And that thing does depuff my face. I literally done where I had started just doing the front, you know, one side, and then I pulled it off and looked in the mirror and the other side was so much puffier. So I keep your roller in the freezer and use it in the morning time to depuff. I love that. So this one is a spendier one. I think it might be around the $40 range. Um, then my number one for right now though, is the Dr. Brandt. Okay. Dr. Brandt can do no wrong in my eyes. As far as my eyes cream is concerned, concerned and Dr. Brandt is probably my favorite on the market for eyes. Um, I've just always really liked his eye creams and this is the triple antioxidant eye cream. Had just really good results from his stuff. This one's just a half an ounce. I think I got this one for around eight from BoxyCharm. Um, I got it on a good deal. So I had gotten a bunch of things. I had also gotten the, uh, um, Earth Harbor products all like $8 a piece and stuff. It was great. Um, one to maybe be careful of. However, I did go back and read the packaging and they do state it. I don't really like to put too much faith in any skincare because skincare is the one place I will spend money. Um, makeup, I might reel back and say, Hey, maybe not. But when it comes to skincare, I will drop cash for, for skincare, um, where I may reel back on makeup. So, uh, I did, however, pick up, uh, this global beauty care at the Dollar Tree. And this is the lift and firm eye cream with collagen and peptides. And this one made my eyes sting the very first time that I used it. The second time it didn't. So I'm wondering if I either got some in my eye or if they were just sensitive that day. Um, but to be determined on the outcome of the review on that one. So, uh, but again, daytime, a light hydration, something very light because I am so dry skinned. Maybe you don't even need one if you have oily eyelids and you have normal skin. Um, let's go to serum now. So for serums again, I'm going to hydrate in the morning and then do all the fun stuff at night. I have a lot for hydrating. Um, and I've also just run out of a couple recently. Um, La Roche Posay, their uh, glycolic B5. $45 hands down my favorite serum I've 
ever used in my entire life. A bottle that lasted me for three months. I was using it two, two times a day. Um, but that glycolic B5, I had a bunch of fake tan on. And you guys, within less than a week, it was already pulling it off. And it completely took away so much of my hyperpigmentation that I had going on. That stuff works. I can't wait to try more of them. And the ordinary I want to try too. So in August, I'm going to be getting some stuff from those two places. So um, in the daytime, I'm trying to hydrate. So I have really enjoyed the Earth Harbor Celestine Hydra Plumping Peptide Serum. I've used this one day or, or night. Um but definitely a great hydrating one. And I think it's in the 30, high 30s. Um, this Moisture Rich Face Serum Hyaluronic Acid Green Tea Hydrating. I can't remember the name of the brand. Beauty Mark International. I'm still trying this one. The jury's still out on what I think of it. But you do. I did get two ounces for $10 rather than one ounce. And I thought that was a great deal. So again, sometimes I'm not that into things from the Dollar Tree, but I did not mind the hydrating primer serum and it's infused with rose oil. Um, not bad. I haven't used a whole ton of it and I haven't ever used it like numerous days in a row with just this. So um, I can't tell you exactly how it works with just that one. Then the Holy Hydration Hydrating Serum with Jojoba, Aloe, and Vitamin E from e.l.f. I have honestly just started using this one. I remember not being super impressed with it right in the beginning, but it's kind of warmed up on me. It's kind of, yeah, kind of warmed up to it. So for evening time, I would use the La Roche-Posay, um, and it would have lasted me for six months if I had been using it twice a day, but it really did. It worked. Um, I was so impressed with the results. One of the best skincare items I've ever used in my life because, you know, we expect these huge claims that they claim and that one actually was doing it. And so I was so excited. Um, if I ever do a breakout or need, um, some sort of resurfacing or, if, you know, if I have texture going on or if I have zits, um, I may go ahead and pull out my, uh, overnight resurfacing serum with AHA, BHA or once every week or two every 10 days or so use this for a night or two um the other serum i just got is by global beauty care and jury's completely out on this one as well but i really enjoyed their glowing line their glowing wipes and they worked so well that these guys right here um and their face wash also did so now i've got this little smooth and lift collagen face serum that i'm going to be using at night so jury's out on that one as well. But that gives you an idea of what I'm looking for to do at night and day. Then let's move to lotion. So if I have breakout, I'm going to do oil-free acne moisturizer, pink grapefruit by Neutrogena. It's just a nice light one. And even though this is uh, for, you know, uh, acne, it's still not super, super drying for me. And I like the consistency. It's still light enough. Then I also picked up the Retinol Skin Serum from Global Beauty Care from the Dollar Tree. But what I really enjoyed about this one is the weight of it, okay? It's the weight of this one. It's super light. And um, because of that, I love this one under my makeup as well. That's why I use the Neutrogena one as well. Um, but $1.25 for that one. And it's just super light. And I have had no issues with my skin feeling dried out at the end of the day. It's been really nice after that one. Um, let me go ahead and show you here the Neutrogena. It's also, as you can see, lighter. It's a lighter consistency also. It's about the same as the one I just showed you, actually. Let's flip to nighttime. So at nighttime, I use a cream. I quit using cream during the day and switched to using cream at night. So this oil-free night moisturizer with cream, with vitamin E, it's for softer, smoother skin and relieving dryness, and it's from Dermasil Labs. I think this runs for about eight fifty, but it is a very nice. It's not, and it's two ounces. Um, but this one, it's not the thickest cream I've ever used. But I have only used this one once. But I really, I enjoyed it already for the first night. Um, I'm really excited to start using that one some more as well. But my favorite 
for night and also for just my hands or my chest, my ears, my neck, um, has been the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. $15 for 16 ounces, you guys. This is huge. This would last you an entire year for your face. I got this in December and I'm just down to here, okay? Uh, there's so much in here. Yeah, right here is where I'm at. Right here. So, eight months, ten months, probably this this will last you. And it is it is a thick cream. All right, I think that shows you right there what this cream does. Um, the first day or two that I was using this, I immediately saw results. This also has the MVE delivery technology. So it is a controlled release for daily hydration, non-comedogenic, fragrance-free, hyaluronic acid. And it's also got that, uh, um, the, it's, it's got this technology in it where you can, um, where it, uh, creates a barrier also so that it can't be penetrated. It's also good for eczema. Um, I found that cream and let me tell you, it, it was my first introduction to CeraVe and it's mind blowing line. I, I can't believe that you get as good of products as you do for the price and the amount of product that you get. Okay. We're on to our last things for the face and they are actually the same morning or night the toner that I have, I love it. Um, it's the perfect toner for me. It's exactly what I'm looking for. I, I do have a couple of others, but after finding this, I've never really found the need to get anything else, but I did try. I picked up one this last time. Uh, Multi-Active Toner by Dermalogica. It's for dry skin. It feels like there's no alcohol in this. If there is any alcohol, it is so low, but I don't think there even is any alcohol in this. And it's, it's just got all of these things in it that hydrate. So it, like water, butylene, glycol, aloe, leaf juice, uh, lavandulia, which is lavender extract. Um, there's so many just you know, fruit extracts and all these different like cucumber and all of these things. And it's amazing. It does exactly what I need, even like lavender oil and stuff in here. This toner, it's, I think it's in the thirties range and you get an 8.4 ounce bottle. It lasts a long time. It's got a spritz on it. You can use about three spritzes for your whole face. And I use that morning and night. It's the perfect toner. Since I was making a big elf order, I did go ahead and pick up their, Holy Hydration Keep Your Balance Toner with Hyaluronic Acid, Witch Hazel, and Aloe. And the only other thing I put on is just Equate Witch Hazel. Um, so that's what I use for toner in place of these harsher alcohols for my dry skin. Um, just a nice little mention here. We will mention the Holy Hydration Coconut Mist. Um, by the way, the toner I think was 12 maybe. Um, the serum... They were all, nothing was more than $13 for the e.l.f. stuff. Let's put it that way. This little coconut mist, I think, was around 8 This is just a refresher mist, and it gets the job done. It smells like coconut, that coconut and vitamin E. And it is a nice little refresher since I have such dry skin. But I don't depend on that for moisturizer. It's just, a, it just feels good. Honestly, I was, I had a little extra money to spend, and I was just kind of looking for an item. If I had seen the sleep mask, I would have grabbed the lip sleep mask I would have grabbed that I just didn't find it till a later page and I was just looking to buy something extra so I did pick that up that you guys is my skin routine difference between morning and night um again it's for dry skin uh, a little bit oily eyelids it is for a little bit of t-zone action you know I get a little shine there but nothing too extreme so that's what I choose for morning and night those are the products I'm currently using and that's what I like that I think is everything. If you want to like this video, subscribe, you know where the buttons are, no pressure. And you guys, I'm going to go check out now my mom's new contacts because that's what she was going to show me. So have a good day and talk to you later.